after 5.30, coming on 6 in the morning. Time for the first cup of coffee. So how are we doing today? Um, we'll just give a little quick report to the subscribers. Thank you very much for all your participation. Um, and uh, I, I appreciate all comments, even negative comments. It's very much the way one learns. Um, and don't be worried about offending me or saying something that's uh, out of line. I'm used to it. I was a property manager for 40 years, so I've heard every kind of explicative insult and sale possible. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to point out some uh, things that seem to irritate me about some of my competition of will or my uh, confrères. Um, if you're doing a, a blog on food, um, I don't want to see your stuff in your face. Show me the food, show me the kitchen, show me how it's prepared. But let's keep uh, your face out of it. I don't want to see your chompers digesting your food. It's, uh, it's kind of like the equivalent of my mother telling me, Philip, keep your mouth shut when you're eating. Um, and so it should be when you're doing your blog. I don't think that uh, that is really uh, appropriate or attractive. So that's number one to consider. Number two would be original content. Um, I do go on Google and check out things. You know, just do a search. Uh, what's new in the Philippines? What's weird in the Philippines? What's wacky in the Philippines? And things come up. That's how I did the food video uh, exposing the number five soup, which I'd never heard of before. So if you're an older man looking for higher performance, look up the number five soup on my previous video. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, original content, um, it's obvious that some of you are relying on your personalities rather than your substance. And, uh, you know, then there's others who rely on both, which that's a great combination if you can have it. So, yeah, try and find some of the original content other than let's attack so-and-so. So let's try that. And number three would be straight up balls. Now, not everybody can be me. I know that. People are shy and retiring. And that's the nice thing about the Philippines. My Filipino is very quiet. And you very rarely see her other than her smile. But this is a channel where over 80%, 85% of you are guys. And... I expect men to be men, not the little boys that I see whining and crying about their conditions. Um, you know, you can report on things without having to make it a complaint. But some of you are just going out and you're building your whole channel on the, the idea of attacking others. Now, I do attack people who attack me or who wrongfully uh, misstate or slander my name. And those are the only ones that you'll hear about. Or if I see there's a public menace out there, I'll point it out. And I've done that. But I also don't believe in flogging a horse to death. You don't kick a man when he's down. So will everybody please leave Mark Thornton alone and let him figure it out for himself, okay? Every amount of explanation hasn't worked, so it's really up to him. And then while we're at it, I got to give a shout out to uh, Paul Cardwell at World Zoom. Um, there's a guy who's got balls. I mean, you know, but the, 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 the saddest part of Paul's story is he's got a great story that he, he's not sharing. Um, what's really happening with his, with his uh, trip to the penal system? Now, everybody makes mistakes in life. Um, uh, Dad used to say the dumb ones get caught, but... Uh, no reflection on your intelligence, Paul. You're, you're, you're a bright enough guy. You should figure out that that would be great content for your channel. I'm a great one for appealing to uh, the subscribers for content. And if you can find an issue or an area that you'd like to have discussed, I'll try to cover it. But initially, this channel was... The, intended to help young men to try and 
help them avert the mistakes that I made in my life, having gone through a couple of divorces. If I could uh, reduce their agony in life, that was the intent. But that's not working because over uh, I'm over uh, at 81% male, but over 60% uh, over 50. So actually, it is more than that. Um, I'll have to look again. So we're all just a bunch of old farts. If we're we're all talking together, um, we're on par. You can you can tell me what you think straight off, and some of you do. I mean, I don't mind somebody telling me that once again or reminding me once again that I'm an asshole. <laughs> That's okay. I'm uh, I'm not perfect. I'm nobody, and nobody is perfect. So <laughs> I love that line. So just to get back to the whole. Uh, have some balls theme. Um, yeah. If you're that worried about being monetized about uh, your YouTube channel, I would suggest that you don't have enough life content to share, to offer anything real other than gossip and conjecture. And it wouldn't be a, it would be a waste of my time. And uh, I, I don't like bullshitters, uh, as does anybody. Don't tell me you're unbiased when you clearly are. So, um, that's about it for the having balls content, but uh, and having principles too. Some of you have been wondering about the construction uh, process and what we're doing here. So I've got another channel called Phil's Finest Philippine Fables, and. Uh, I think there's a total of like 15 subscribers, but I try to provide uh, weekly, if not daily, updates. Right now we're at the forms level, but here I wanted to talk about <clears throat> my purpose in all this. You know, I've been coming here and being here for the last 12 years. I decided I didn't want to get involved in a project out in the country, uh, far away from any kind of uh, community support or infrastructure. Uh, at at 70 years old, but I did want to provide something for the family, so we decided to retrofit the existing townhouse, and it's going to be a completely different configuration, and it'll be a lot bigger. And uh, I'm also building a room, a rooftop room, so that if guests come by, uh, come by or any time and let me know. But that won't be ready for another year. But you should be getting a great view of Cebu because it'll be at the top of the building. And uh, we get the mountains on one side and the ocean on the other, so that'll be quite awesome. So that was the intent: is to uh, to finish off what we've got here, um, easy to monitor. We're across the way, the construction site's over there, and we're staying right over there, so it's real handy. And then uh, later on, as uh, time progresses, we might acquire another uh, property. Probably more for agricultural purposes than for oceanfront, um, which is exposed. Um, one of the downfalls of oceanfront property and building on the ocean is that you've got a spray from the ocean, it happens 24-7, that rusts and corrodes everything you own. All your window frames, doorknobs, faucets, fixtures, electrical connections. So if you're right on the ocean front, that's an exposure that you probably don't want to be involved with. And uh, certainly me at this stage, no, I'm, I'm not interested. So I planted these coconut trees uh, six years ago from seed and they're growing like crazy. They offered some shade on the side of the building. And I would suggest that if, you're, if you do construction, um, Put your coconut uh, in the ground before you start construction on your south side so that by the time you're finished, it offers you some shade to keep the house cool. It'll maybe help you save on your uh, electrical expense for your air conditioning. So that's what I've done. I've put up some trees and that'll help uh, some. some. Um, you want to steer away from bamboo. It's very invasive, 
and uh, it'll undermine your foundations and it attracts snakes uh, if there are snakes in the neighborhood very hard to get rid of I, I dug one out in Thailand and it took me a week and a half just to get the root ball out so yeah you want to try that with something else and the same with well relative to the snake issue is bananas they seem to attract a lot of mosquitoes and uh, so you should be aware of that as well so I suggest before you plant anything you check with a local uh, gardening shop there's all kinds of beautiful uh, plants you know, hibiscus and others that are just not only beautiful but edible. And I did a video on hibiscus tea earlier on. So, yeah, if you just if you are building in the Philippines, you want to lay out a, a landscape plan that'll offer some shade and comfort and a place to escape to, away from the hustle and bustle. So, you might want to add that to your list of things to do. We happen to live in what they call a bird sanctuary, but the crazy part is there's cats everywhere. The poor birds are having a competition. So by planting a lot of trees, it gives a place for the birds to seek refuge. So that's a, another suggestion for you. And uh, finally, I want to wrap it up with uh, a... Uh, strategy for living here in the Philippines if you're you've got family it's going to be make better sense for you to live in town if you got kids going to school during the week but if you if you organize it so that you've got yourself your little escape vehicle uh, in uh, not so much in uh, around Manila but here in Cebu you can escape you can get out of town in less than an hour um, and it'll still be relatively built up, but you can go up in the hills and find nature within half an hour. And uh, if you head up the coast uh, in here in Cebu, um, you're going to find it's a different uh, set of circumstances from down south. Down south towards Oslo, where the whale sharks are, it's, uh, it's touristier, it's rockier. Uh, it's drier, um, but if you head north, you're going to get a little bit more rain. You're going to get white sand beaches and resorts that are there that aren't quite as packed, I find, as they are down south. So my suggestion to you is live in town during the week and then the weekends escape. And that way you're not burdened with a whole bunch of work around the house trying to build a house out in the provinces somewhere. Uh, I guess you might have heard that we're, we've got a heat wave going on right now. The kids are out of school. Public schools are closed. Private schools, if they got air conditioning, they're still operating. And yet, my neighbors still get out there walking every morning. <laughs> I should, I guess. Yeah, but I hear that if you walk every day, you live five years longer. But those five years are spent walking. <laughs> so again, I'd like to thank you all for joining us here on the Phil Cartmel experience and please make a comment many of you but a few comment so if you can comment and let me know what you'd like to see where I'm going wrong what I'm doing right so I can provide you what you want so and you have a great day and we'll talk to you in the next one bye bye